Hey all, how's it going? Happy holidays to all of you. And we are basically in 2024 now. But let's enjoy the last couple of days in 2023 with this amazing beef bourguignon for this holiday season. It is incredible and the best way to end the year. The greatest thing about it is it really does not need much work to become utterly delicious. This recipe is part of the hashtag dishes merry and bright collaboration. So check out that hashtag for all other Christmas and holiday themed dishes. Now for this recipe, I'm using brisket and I've cut that up into these two inch cubes. And I was looking for lardons for my bacon, but I just could not find it anywhere this time. I didn't use it for my coco vin recipe, but it just, I guess, wasn't meant to be. So I'm using just bacon that's thick cut, and I think that should be a okay substitution. And if you're liking what you're seeing, then consider supporting and following us on these other platforms as well. And it always is a good thing if you subscribe and turn on all notifications. Now you wanna use a stock pot or a cast iron pan, something robust and something that retains heat really well because that's gonna just take this dish to another level. On the cold pan, add in your lardon or your bacon and you wanna bring that pan up to a medium temperature and it's gonna to start to render out all that fat. This for me looks amazing so Take a slaughter spoon, remove the bacon, and leave the grease as is. Now in the meanwhile, I've seasoned the brisket with salt and pepper, and I'm gonna give it a quick toss, just coat it all around. And with the heat a bit higher now, maybe like medium, medium high range, start adding in your cubes of beef, and make sure to cook it until each side is golden brown. We're not looking to cook it completely on the inside, just give it some nice color. I usually just go with two sides getting some nice caramelization as well. Now as you're cooking it, and you can work in batches if you want to, just to make sure everything is cooking evenly, just start putting all that brisket aside into a bowl and all the juices will collect in there as well. Now the pan right now is gonna be really hot. So lower the heat and then deglaze that pan with some yeah, cognac or brandy. And once the show is over, then add in your onions and your carrots. And we're gonna start cooking it in that bacon fat, the, the sweet cognac, brandy mixture until they start to soften. And soon enough, you can add in your garlic and tomato paste. Now give that all a nice mix. And you wanna essentially cook off the rawness of the garlic and the tartness of the tomato paste off before you add in your flour. And that flour is what's gonna help eventually to thicken that red wine sauce, this bourguignon. Bourguignon, by the way, basically means burgundy and this dish is beef burgundy because of the color. Talking about that, here's the wine that I'm using and you don't need a especially expensive wine. It is for cooking. You can pair this dish with an expensive red wine if you want though. So you wanna add a couple splashes, a couple glugs in there first so that you can just mop up all that flour, get a nice thick sauce going and then add in the rest of the bottle. Then add in your broth in there. You can also add in your meat at this point along with your thyme, the bay leaf, add half of the cooked bacon from earlier and then just give it all a gentle mix. You wanna bring this mixture now up to a simmer because the brunt of the work is basically over. Now, as soon as you see bubbles popping up here and there, take that casserole, the stock pot, whatever you're using, and in the oven it goes on the middle rack at 350 Fahrenheit, and you're gonna cook it low and slow for one and a half to two hours. This is gonna be amazing. And when about 30 or 20 minutes are left to your timer, then we'll start prepping the mushrooms and the onions. Now, earlier in the recipe, I confused the pearl onions somehow with my 
finely chopped red onions and I added all those pearl onions in that hot cast iron which gave it some color gave it a tiny bit of char and I was like oh my god I spent half an hour or 40 minutes peeling a bag of pearl onions I'm not gonna let this go to waste so here they are I took it all out so don't do what I did and add it now in a pan that has some butter melting in it it's on medium heat and just add in your mushrooms in there as well they've just been quartered and looking at this you might think oh my god how's this gonna cook the lid can barely close well that's the power of evaporation and condensation so just add a bit of water quarter to a third cup and then just cover with a tight fitting lid press down if you have to because slowly most of the moisture from the mushrooms will just come out and they will shrink by more than 50 percent and when you take that lid off this is what you'll see now there's a bunch of water from the mushroom of that flavor that has come out so now we're gonna just reduce all that water and cook it off mm -hmm. and as that happens and as you keep stirring from time to time they will turn nice golden brown just like this this point bourguignon out the oven mushrooms done pull onions done so what are you waiting for add the onions and the mushrooms in the bourguignon and give it a mix taste for seasoning and oh my god you're going to be transported into a burgundy world and then finally just top it off with the rest of the bacon that we had set aside and i'm gonna serve this with some croissant buns some pappardelle, and i am happy and this is just the most incredibly easy dish to make the house is gonna smell awesome with that red wine sauce with those flavors and the meat is gonna be incredibly tender have a happy holiday this season and hope everything good comes your way next year 2024 happy new year and i'll see you on the next one